Happy Friday everyone. Today I've got a Arturo Fuente, I think it's an 838 Florfina, something like that. Grand Reserve, it doesn't have the Florfina on it, it was on the outer cellophane and I threw it away. Anyway, it's, a, it's an Arturo Fuente, it's a Candela wrapper and every once in a great while I get a hankering for a Candela wrapper. So. That's what I'm going to have today. I hope you've all been having a great week. Uh, I am. I had a good week, but I'm happy it's over. And I am ready to move on to the weekend. And as you'll see momentarily, we had some snow this morning. So that'll hopefully provide a little bit of visual interest for you as I drive home. That's a good cigar. Um, you have to like the Candela wrappers, though. So they're they're um, they have a unique flavor. So before I get on the road, I just wanted to very quickly address some things that came up in light of my roadway ramble last week. Um, and you know, I, I got a lot of comments on on what I was saying there, and. I knew that it was going to be a little bit uh, controversial, but by and far the comments were supportive and positive, and I, I really appreciate them. And I'm not going to revisit the topic really, but I just want to address a couple of questions that came up in the comments to make sure that people didn't mishear what I was trying to say. I mean, first off, um, I mean, I got sort of three three questions that kind of bothered me a little bit. One is, uh, you know, I. I've, I, it's not nice to to not do a yabo because you got to thank people. Yeah, absolutely, you got to thank people. And and I didn't say never do a yabo. You know, I, I actually said there are good ones. And if you want to see a good one, check out uh, Beard and Temper. Uh, I'll put a link below. He did a fantastic one this week. They can be well done, and they often are. And and it's important to show your gratitude towards people. So I agree a hundred percent. Uh, second one was I, I now feel self-conscious because I was going to make a yabo. But no, please, I wasn't talking to you. I wasn't talking to the to, to the to the new guys, to the folks that are just starting to make videos, or even to most of the people that are they're even following me. And I think I said at one point the guys I'm talking to aren't the guys watching this video. Um, so do what do what you've been doing. You're, you're not doing anything wrong. Uh, and I think I think that was. Oh, and one other thing that came up often was several people said, oh, but I learned so much from those videos. No, you don't. You're, you're thinking of a different video than what I was talking about. I'm talking about the, hey, guys, I bought three new pipes, and they're the best pipes ever, and you have to buy them. Goodbye. Those, those videos. Uh, you don't learn anything from those. Uh, but you do learn things from, from well-done yabos or, or just chats. And, you know, so anyway. We've said enough about this, but I wanted to reassure you guys that I was not picking on the new guys that are just sort of finding their way here and don't feel self-conscious about making a Yabo video thanking someone because, because for goodness sakes, you, we want to we want to appreciate and and recognize the the uh, generosity in in the community. So I hope I cleared that up, and we will not speak of it again. Let's get on the road. So it snowed this morning. And you'll see evidence of that as we drive around the parking lot here. We had about three inches, you know, enough that I had to clear the sidewalks and the driveway and everything. But the roads have actually been quite good. Try a slightly different route home. Gotta keep you keep you interested. So what I have been thinking about a lot this week. I hope this still goes through where I think it goes through. Um, what I've been thinking about a lot this week is, a, is something I said last week in, in the context of that chat, but this is in a broader context, that, that quote that I gave you 
which is it doesn't matter it's not what you make it's how you make it uh, that's a quote from a guy named Paul Sellers who's a woodworker and I've been really enjoying his videos he's a hand tool guy he, he very much is preaching the gospel of hand tools if you will and I like his approach I, I, I really appreciate the videos that he's made and he, he's made some that are very thoughtful and introspective and it's clear you know this is a guy that spent his entire life working with wood he loves it and uh, that shows through shines through uh, is this going to just bring me back out where I was wouldn't that be embarrassing so no this is a different a different light that will probably be difficult to turn so I've been thinking a lot about Paul Sellers and uh, that quote and I was watching a video this week from Eric blue collar pipe smoker and Eric please I love you brother and this is not this is not about you so listen Listen to the whole story before you, you react to what I'm saying here. So Eric, uh, uh, you guys that know Eric, and hit link below for, for him as well. You guys that know Eric know that uh, he's gotten into pipe restoration, and he's done some really nice estate pipe restoration, and he's, he's shown that to us, and, you know, it's good stuff. So we had a video up this past week where he restored a pipe, and I honestly don't, I think it was a, a Canadian, um, sort of canadian disc pipe, and it was a, it, it was a stain pipe, it had, it had a red stain on it, and Eric really didn't like the red stain, and, and he, he complained a lot about it, and, you know, it got to the point where he was saying, I don't understand why people hide the wood under stain and, and and I reacted to this personally I, I, I had an emotional reaction to this because I love wood I love the grain in wood and I firmly believe that whether it's briar or not and by the way I believe briar is one of the most beautiful grained woods but I firmly believe that stain can be used to enhance and accentuate the grain and make it look that much better so you know, Eric's blanket dismissal of all stain was really getting to me. And then I found myself, as, as I watched this video, I found myself starting to really perseverate on everything that he was doing and thinking, well, that's not the way you're supposed to do that. And he used what? How, how, how could he do it that way? It doesn't, you're, you know, not, not supposed to use the blue paper towels. You got to use the yellow paper towels. And, you know, it just got silly. And then he showed the pipe at the end. And immediately, I, you know, it just, I just was filled with this sense of, wow, that, what, a, what a fantastic looking pipe. And all that other stuff went away. But I was very aware of all that other stuff as I was watching the video, because I like Eric. Eric's a good guy. And, you know, to have those kinds of, of, of emotions. And it all came out of this, you know, my, my over-focus on the stain. And, you know, how can anybody say all stain is bad? But when he held up that finished pipe, you got a sense of the pride in the workmanship that he had. You, you realized that that was a pipe that was going to be smoked more now and loved. And, you know, well done, Eric. You, you, you did exactly the right thing. And again, it's absolutely true that it doesn't matter what you make, it's how you make it. But there's more than one way to make it. And that's really, I think, something that we lose sight of sometimes. You know, I, when it comes to woodworking, I like to use hand tools. When it comes to any kind of work, I like to use hand tools. Uh, you know, most of the stem making that I do, I do very little work on a belt sander or anything like that. I, I predominantly use uh, files and, and sandpaper because I just like it. I like the feedback that I get from that. Does that mean that my stems are better than somebody that uses a belt sand? No, it doesn't. But the guy that's using the belt sander 
or the sanding disc or whatever he might be using, he's bringing a sense of precision to that that comes from a different place than the sense of precision that I bring to it. They both lead to excellent products. It's not the product in the end, though. It's what we're bringing to that process and how we are we are bringing that sense of precision, sense of beauty, aesthetic, whatever, whatever you want to call it. So it doesn't matter if you're restoring a pipe, whether you use the blue paper towels or the yellow paper towels, and I just made that up as a silly way of emphasizing just how ridiculous the whole thing was getting. In the end, it matters that you restored the pipe and you restored it in a way that makes you proud of what you've done and will make other people recognize the value that that pipe still has when it might have actually wound up being tossed out. So, I guess what I'm trying to say is I really, really believe, you know, that, that quote, it's not what you make, it's how you make it, has resonated very strongly with me over the past couple of weeks. I've thought about it in just about every aspect of of my work, uh, not just the work I do in the shop, but my work that I do professionally as well. And it really does make a lot of sense. But it's very easy to fall into the trap of thinking there's only one way to do it, and that's not true. And I don't think that's ever true. You know, there's always, as the expression goes, there's always more than one way to skin a cat. Uh, never skinned a cat. Dissected one. I'm gonna do that in a biology class a long time ago. I probably shouldn't be talking about that, should I? Anyway, <laughs> guys, this road is uh, terrible. The, one of the curses of this part of Pennsylvania is that our roads just disintegrate in the winter because uh, all the expansion and contraction from from the hot and the cold and the hot and the cold. And this has just been a heck of a winter for that. So there are potholes that will just eat your car up alive. And in case you haven't noticed, I'm taking a slightly different route home. You gotta keep it interesting. This fellow's turning to... There we go. Anyway, folks, I've, I think I've talked to you enough. Hope you... Hope you enjoyed the chat. I'm going to enjoy this uh, cigar some more. It's uh, it's very good and it's scratching that candela itch that I had. So you all take care. Have a great weekend and uh, take care of yourselves. Talk soon.